Chapter 21 The word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, set your face toward Jerusalem, and drop your word toward the sanctuaries, and prophesy against the land of Israel, and tell the land of Israel, Thus says the Lord, Behold, I am against you, and will draw forth my sword out of its sheath, and will cut off from you the righteous and the wicked. Seeing then that I will cut off from you the righteous and the wicked, therefore shall my sword go forth out of its sheath against all flesh from the south to the north, and all flesh shall know that I, the Lord, have drawn forth my sword out of its sheath. It shall not return any more. Sigh, therefore, you son of man, with the breaking of your loins, and with bitterness shall you sigh before their eyes. It shall be when they tell you, Why do you sigh? That you shall say, Because of the news, for it comes, and every heart shall melt, and all hands shall be feeble, and every spirit shall faint, and all knees shall be weak as water. Behold, it comes, and it shall be done, says the Lord God. The word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus says the Lord, Say, A sword, a sword, it is sharpened and also furbished. It is sharpened that it may make a slaughter. It is furbished that it may be as lightning. Shall we then make mirth? The rod of my son, it condemns every tree. It is given to be furbished that it may be handled. The sword, it is sharpened, yes, it is furbished to give it to the hand of the killer. Cry and wail, son of man, for it is on my people, it is on all the princes of Israel, they are delivered over to the sword with my people. Strike, therefore, on your thigh, for there is a trial, and what if even the rod that condemns shall be no more, says the Lord God? You, therefore, son of man, prophesy, and strike your hands together and let the sword be doubled the third time, the sword of the deadly wounded. It is the sword of the great one who is deadly wounded, which enters into their chambers. I have set the threatening sword against all their gates, that their heart may melt, and their stumblings be multiplied. Ah, it is made as lightning, it is pointed for slaughter. Gather together, go to the right, set yourself in array, go to the left, wherever your face is set. I will also strike my hands together, and I will cause my wrath to rest. I, the Lord, have spoken it. The word of the Lord came to me again, saying, Also, you son of man, appoint two ways that the sword of the king of Babylon may come. They both shall come forth out of one land, and mark out a place. Mark it out at the head of the way to the city. You shall appoint a way for the sword to come to Rabbah of the children of Ammon and to Judah in Jerusalem the fortified. For the king of Babylon stood at the parting of the way, at the head of the two ways, to use divination. He shook the arrows back and forth, he consulted the teraphim, he looked in the liver. In his right hand was the divination for Jerusalem, to set battering rams, to open the mouth in the slaughter, to lift up the voice with shouting, to set battering rams against the gates, to cast up mounds, to build forts. It shall be to them as a false divination in their sight, who have sworn oaths to them. But he brings iniquity to memory, that they may be taken. Therefore thus says the Lord God, Because you have made your iniquity to be remembered, and that your transgressions are uncovered, so that in all your doings your sins do appear, because you have come to memory, you shall be taken with the hand. You, Deadly wounded wicked one, the prince of Israel, whose day is come, in the time of the iniquity of the end. Thus says the Lord God, Remove the turban and take off the crown. This shall be no more the same. Exalt that which is low, and abase that which is high. I will overturn, overturn, overturn it. This also shall be no more, until he come whose right it is, and I will give it him. You, son of man, prophesy and say, Thus says the Lord God concerning the children of Ammon, and concerning their reproach, and say, A sword, a sword is drawn for the slaughter it is furbished, to cause it to devour that it may be as lightning, while they see for you false visions, while they divine lies to you, to lay you on the necks of the wicked who are deadly wounded, 
whose day is come in the time of the iniquity of the end. Cause it to return into its sheath. In the place where you were created, in the land of your birth, will I judge you. I will pour out my indignation on you. I will blow on you with the fire of my wrath, and I will deliver you into the hand of brutish men, skillful to destroy. You shall be for fuel to the fire. Your blood shall be in the midst of the land. You shall be no more remembered, for I, the Lord, have spoken it.